With the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized Jesus at the breaking of the bread. They were still talking about this when Jesus himself stood among them and said, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you agitated? And why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. Yes, it is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and feet. Their joy was so great that they could not believe, they could not believe it and stood dumbfounded. So he said to them, have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of grilled fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, This is what I meant when I said, while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms has to be fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, So you see how it is written that Christ would suffer, and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name, repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first witness, so witnesses of the resurrection were women. But during the time of Jesus, in his culture, the, they are not admitted to give witness because they were second-class citizens. Their witness, witnessing is inadmissible to the court. But the... Uh, evangelist wrote this truth because it is the truth first witnesses were women and Mary Magdalene is called the apostle to the apostles because he was sent by Jesus to the apostles to proclaim there are people who do not believe in the resurrection but this is the truth and this experience or encounter of the um, of the apostles with uh, the risen Lord gave the disciples the strength. The details was uh, described by Saint Luke in our Gospel for today. Even though the doors were locked, windows were closed, Jesus entered. So we, they were they were frightened as if. Uh, they were seeing a ghost because no one with a body can enter closed buildings, closed rooms. But Jesus was already in his glorified body. And a glorified body is not bound of space and time. But still, they were dumbfounded. They cannot believe it. Which is why Jesus told them, do you have something to eat here? and show them his hands and his feet and touch him. And they were in joy seeing him, touching him. Secondly, sisters and brothers, after that, they told them that about the scriptures, through his death and resurrection, it is prophesied in the scriptures and told them it is like a Bible study that the Messiah uh, would have his passion, death, and resurrection. 
that Good Friday is necessary for Easter Sunday. It is the fulfillment of the Scriptures. And lastly, He sent them to proclaim this truth for the repentance of sins, which is why our first reading for today, St. Peter has the courage, has the strength to proclaim this truth. And so we are all also as witnesses in every celebration of Eucharist, we are also sent like the apostles to proclaim this truth. Our encounter with the, resurrection, with the resurrected Jesus, with the risen Lord in the Eucharist, to our families, to our offices, and to our works. Amen.